another beautiful day here on my channel and you all are welcome so i'm going to show you how i achieved this carrot oil yes this is carrot oil freshly made you can see how healthy and you know presentable this is you can see how the color is popping and the nutrients are well reserved yes and i also like having it in this container because the mouth of the container is closed you can do you can just get it out in drops right so when this falls or something it doesn't easily spill that is why i love having it in this container yeah like you can see how nicely made this is so i'm just going to show you how i achieved this carrot oil i use this carrot oil for my baby's skin ever since i had her i'm using just natural oils and they are perfect for her skin she looks so good using just natural products without further ado let's get right in so i'll be using three carrots for this procedure firstly i am going to scrape off the backs of the carrot i don't want to peel them because i don't want to waste a greater proportion of the carrots after scraping that off i will just wash it and it is ready to be grated In grating the carrots, I'll be using the smaller side of the grater. That is because I want the grated part to be so small, leading to the oil being made faster and better. When that has been grated, this is what it looks like. You see how neat that is. And that is the importance of you washing and sterilizing everything thoroughly before going on to do this you don't want to have any dirty thing used for this because it goes to the skin now i'm going to get this plastic bowl it is a hard plastic which means it cannot get destroyed by hot water i will now transfer the grated carrot in the bowl and then add in some natural coconut oil into that i'll also make uh, i also make sure the carrots are well submerged into the coconut oil like the coconut oil should float on the carrots now you can see how that is after that i will just close the container tightly so water doesn't get into it later later on i am going to just get a pot on the fire and then add in some hot water into that then i will place the bowl into it notice how the water doesn't overflow the bowl i'll just close the pot and then leave it on very low heat after about 10 minutes i'm going to go in to mix that up notice how the oil is already coming along now after mixing that thoroughly i will just get the bowl back into the pot and that will also continually be on low heat notice how the carrot has already produced the oil and also you notice how the heat is not that much that is because you want to preserve all the nutrients now after which i will just Turn off the gas and let that cool overnight. I let mine cool overnight because I wanted all the nutrients into the oil. After that, I will just get it out and then have it sieved. In sieving, you have already seen how well the oil was produced. So when sieving, I'm going to go ahead with a spoon and press that thoroughly. I want to get everything out. Now, don't bother if you have some particles falling into the oil because I am going to sieve that at least twice. Yeah. 
and as i earlier said you want to make sure you thoroughly sterilize and wash everything you'll be using for this procedure you know how much harm death can cause to the skin now look at how good the color of that is also while doing this you'll notice that there's still some water in that right i don't know how some people get to do this carrot oil and not have it on the fire on the fire again to dry off the water but we are going to have that on the fire one more time in order to dry off the water as i earlier said don't worry about the particles because we are going to sieve that one more time so i'm sieving it now to get all the particles that fell into the oil so now i'm going to get this on low heat in order to dry off the water you can see it actually has water in it now after some time you will notice the water getting dry it shouldn't take you up to 20 minutes to get this done at this point in time you can see all the water has dried up thoroughly and you're just going to turn off the gas and i'll let this cool off thereafter i am going to sieve the carrot oil one more time that is to get any particles which are left in it out and get the carrot oil in perfect shape so guys you can see what we've produced so far you see how clean and how the color and every other nutrient has been well preserved now you can go ahead and enjoy this if you love the video please give it a thumbs up and also you want to subscribe to my channel as well as press on the notification bell so you get notified when i post a new video see you next time bye